Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and you've been waiting and asking for it. We've got some great news today. We've got an early preview of Mac OS Sonoma for Open Core Legacy Patcher unsupported Macs from 2012 and newer metal compatible GPUs. Now in this video, I'm gonna go over some really important warnings before you install because this is an early preview beta only, and you need to be aware of some of these things before we get installed. But if you've got a test Mac that you would like to try, we're gonna go through a full walkthrough upgrade today, and I'll walk you through all the steps to be able to install Sonoma on your unsupported Mac. Let's jump in and get started. Now before we begin, I got a big stop sign right here and we really have to have a, an important warning. This is not for your production or main or only Mac that you have. This is to be able to test on a separate Mac, a testing Mac, a secondary Mac. This is not meant for public release use because there's going to be issues that you're going to have. And it's important to state this right now before we begin so you don't have problems later. There's no support for this. So if you install this and you have problems, you will not get any support from the developers or anybody else because it's an early beta and it's still in full testing. But if you want to be able to just give it a quick run through test on a secondary Mac, that's what it's here for and we can give it a shot. But I want to be very clear before we begin, if you install, this is for at your risk only. Once the public release comes out in the fall, the full supported version will be released and then you'll be able to get support and it will be fully documented and you'll be able to get all the information you need. So now you have the warning and we can get started. Now that we got the important warnings out of the way, we can go over some of the important details before we install Mac OS Sonoma Beta on your 2012 to 2016 Mac. First of all, I always put full chapters and updates in the description of this video below. If something has changed or something that you need to know, go to the description of this video. I've got an update section. First of all, also only follow the official Open Core Legacy Patcher documentation guide and beta notes in the link below here to be able to install Mac OS Sonoma Beta. There's no other source and I follow that source to give you this full walkthrough. As I mentioned early, make sure you're doing this is on a test drive Mac only because again, the installation of Sonoma Beta with the early preview of Open Core Legacy Patcher is at your risk only because it is not the public release. You want to be able to make sure that you're installing the beta, back up all data on there if you have any important data. Always do it. Recommend two sources. No matter what, this is unsupported by Apple. So if you bring your Mac into the store and you have Open Core Legacy Patcher on there, there's going to be no support for having the latest version of Mac OS on there to be able to keep your Mac secure and be able to install the latest versions of applications. Also have a backup plan if this didn't work out. Make sure you have a full installer of Mac OS High Sierra on a USB drive. So if something goes wrong, you can always boot to that and install the latest version compatible with your Mac. You can try and upgrade first, but sometimes an erase and install is recommended because it runs the best. Use the comment section below if you need any help, but I did mention earlier, there's not gonna be that much help because we are in beta preview mode until the public release comes out later this fall. Also, I put out many Open Core Legacy Patcher update videos when a new version of Open Core Legacy Patcher is released. I cover all the new updates. What is the equipment needed? Well, we're going to need an unsupported Mac from 2012 to 2016 with a metal compatible GPU. Almost all 2012 Macs have a metal compatible GPU. Anything 2011 or lower is not supported yet. So you're going to have to hold off and wait until those are supported. And the full list is in the link here. Now we're going to need a 16 gigabyte or larger USB flash drive or external hard drive to be able to erase and install for the installer. And I recommend you at least have an SSD hard drive and at least eight gigabytes of RAM. If you have four gigabytes, it'll do it, but eight gigabytes is recommended. And here's the main link that you want to go to with the latest supported stable build of the preview version. Don't go to any other link, go to this link here and I'll put this in the description below. Now it's time to do our full walkthrough. In this walkthrough, I am going to use a 2014 mid 15 inch MacBook Pro to be able to perform an upgrade. I'll also show you how to do an erase and install if you want to do that, but we're going to start from the very beginning and any Mac with Mac OS Big Sur, Mac OS Monterey, or Mac OS Ventura is compatible with the upgrade going through the USB installer. And I'm going to walk through all the steps that you're going to need that anybody can follow. So now all we need to do is go to that link that I put in the description, which brings us right to the early preview page. This shows you all the model supported like I mentioned 2012 are newer and make sure you have a compatible we already talked about that and then you want to scroll down here and this is the latest validated build for the Sonoma development branch is found below this is the link that you want to be able to use but it's a validated link so what we'll do here is we'll click this link right here and it'll automatically start to download the patcher. And you can click on here and see the progress of that. And it'll be down here in our downloads folder when it is complete. And we'll give it a little bit and we'll be right back. 
Okay, download it, and there you go, 476 megabytes. It is now in our downloads folder, and there's the Open Core Legacy Patcher that is unzipped. What we're going to do is we're going to open up our Applications folder here, and we're going to drag it right over to Applications. As you can see, I've got multiple versions in here. Okay, all we need to do now is drag our Open Core Legacy Patcher from our downloads into our Applications folder. We're going to replace the version in there with the latest version because this is the version that we have to use for compatibility with Sonoma. So we're going to click on Replace. And we've got a brand new version of Open Core Legacy Patcher Beta here. We can double click on it. To, you should see a verification on the first time and a make sure you want to open this download information box before you open it. You can click on OK on both. Now you can see we're on version 0.6.8 and this is the beta version that includes support for Mac OS Sonoma. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to perform an upgrade, but the first thing we're going to need to do is create a USB installer disk. So get out that USB flash drive or hard drive and plug it in now. Okay, we've got our USB drive plugged in here, and what we need to do now is open up Disk Utility. So in the Applications folder, if we scroll down, we'll go to the Utilities folder, and then we will open up Disk Utility Application. What we're going to do is format the drive. Now, keep in mind, the Open Core Legacy Patcher application will format the drive, but this step here could prevent any formatting issues before we begin. Before we erase the USB or external hard drive, make sure any data on here is backed up and put off to another disk or anything else because this entire drive will be erased. If you have any additional partitions or volumes, those will also be erased. So again, make sure we clear out and save all the data on this drive before we begin because it will be completely erased while we perform this duty. So now the first thing we need to do in our disk utility application is click on view here or view in the toolbar up above and click on show all devices. Now we'll be able to see the top level drive of our external hard drive. We'll click on that and then we're going to click on erase. We're doing this because we can finally see the scheme in here. We do not want to erase it with master boot record if it came from the store brand new. We need to make sure that we are in the format of Mac OS Extended Journal and the scheme is GUID partition map. If you do not see the scheme, you clicked on here. So make sure you go back in and click on the top level, then you'll see the scheme and make sure that it looks exactly like this. Don't worry about the name because the patcher application will rename it. So all we need to do is click erase. Click on Done, and we can close the Disk Utility app, and we're ready for the next step. Now, inside the Open Core Legacy Patcher app, we're going to create the Mac OS Beta installer for Mac OS Sonoma. So let's click Create Mac OS Installer, and we're going to download a Mac OS installer. It's going to pull the installer list, and there is our Mac OS 14 Beta. So all we need to do is click on this, and it's going to start to download. It's going to give you a full download speed. And what's going to happen is when it's done downloading, it's going to put it into Macintosh hard drive into the application folder, and we'll be able to continue from there. We'll pick up as soon as this is done. And again, depending on your download speed, this should take anywhere between five to 15 to 20 minutes, or even a half hour if your speed is a little bit slower. We've got an estimated time of about 12 minutes, so it's downloading pretty quick, and we'll be right back. Okay, the download is finished. We have to enter in our administrator password for our account. We'll click on OK. And now it's going to extract the Mac OS installer and put it into our applications folder. Give it a couple minutes to finish. Create the Mac OS installer step. Finished extracting the installer. Would you like to continue to create a Mac OS installer? Yes, we would. We'll click on yes. And it is already highlighted and selected. All we need to do is click in the blue box and it's going to now say which disk. We'll click on this again. And this is a final confirmation to make sure we pulled all the data. We already took care of that stuff. And we will click on yes. And we'll enter in our administrator password. And now it's going to start writing to disk. It unmounted the disk. Now it's going to use the create install binary. And it's going to make sure that it creates the install Mac OS Sonoma beta. We'll give it a little time to do that. And depending on the speed of the drive, it'll be really quick between five and 10 minutes. If it is a slower drive, it could take up to 20 minutes or a little bit more. Okay, we're just about done here. And what it's going to do next is it's going to verify the installer to make sure everything's okay before we begin. There we go. Now it's going to verify the installer. It'll take just a couple minutes. The installer is created. Created, and now we need to put the open core bootloader onto the disk. So we'll click on yes. And it's going to already select our Mac model. And we are see all the settings set here. And we're going to take those settings and put them onto the EFI partition on our installer USB drive. We'll click on install to disk. And we see our list here of drives. We're going to make sure that we click our USB drive here. And that's our 512 SSD click on disk, we'll type in our administrator password. 
and reboot. There's our selection. What we are going to do is move it over to EFI boot. You see that it's the USB drive. We're going to continue holding option. We're going to click enter or click it with the mouse. And we're going to make sure that we click on install Mac OS Sonoma beta and hit enter or click it with the mouse button. Now it's going to boot to the macOS Sonoma installer off of the USB drive. Okay, now we are booted to the macOS Sonoma USB installer. So we're going to do an upgrade install. So if you want to do it in a race install, just go into Disk Utility, erase the drive, and then click on Install Sonoma Beta. But again, for this example, we're going to just do a macOS Sonoma Beta upgrade. So all we need to do is click on Continue, and then Continue. And again, if we already erased the drive, this whole process would be the same. So if you went into Disk Utility and erased the Macintosh hard drive, this whole process would be the same. So either or, an upgrade and a an erase install is the same process. We'll click on Agree and Agree. And now it's going to say, well, which disk do you want to install it on? You want to be able to install a Macintosh hard drive? We'll click on that and click Continue. What it's going to do is copy the installer to the internal hard drive and then it's going to perform the upgrade and as soon as it gets to the next part we'll continue the video okay we just rebooted for the first time you do not have to hold anything down the installer is automatically selected and then it will continue the installation and you can see with sonoma the progress bar is lower down on the screen than it was with Mac OS Ventura and lower. So we will let the progress bar continue here and we should get to a, an install Mac OS Sonoma beta part here in just a second. Okay, there we go. We got about 27 minutes remaining and you can see and watch this progress bar. As soon as this picks up and reboots, we'll pick up where we left off. We got our second reboot. It's automatically selecting installer again. It's going to continue the install. We'll give it a second here. Okay, there's our third reboot. Now you notice that the installer is now gone and the Macintosh hard drive is automatically selected and now we're booting. Okay, we reboot it again. And again, it's selected on Macintosh hard drive. We don't have to click anything. Okay, we're booting back up here. Now if you notice the Open Core Legacy Patcher says Windows, that gets changed when you install Windows. So don't worry about that. That's still the EFI boot on the internal hard drive. And that's what it'll say when you have Windows installed. You click that, you'll see Windows and Mac OS Sonoma on there. But you don't have to worry about that right now. We'll get to that part after we get into the operating system. And now what you'll see, you see the 1% completed. It's installing the auto package update. We'll wait until this is completed and it's gonna re reboot for a final time. Just about done. Okay, fifth and final reboot automatically selected already we don't have to click anything and there we go and we are now at the login window for mac os sonoma beta we made it let's log in to continue and hit enter okay now that we're back in now what you'll notice right away is that we do not have any wi-fi working yet and we will need to install the root patches even though it installed the automatic patcher system if it doesn't work we still need to go into the open Core legacy patcher applications and install the root patches so we'll go into applications and then we'll go down to open Core legacy patcher and then we'll fire it up we will click on post install root patch and there's our list of all the root patches we're going to have to install. Kepler, Haswell, Wireless, and PCIe FaceTime Camera. We'll click on Start Root Patching. And we will click re Relaunch as Root, yes. Enter in our password for Administrator. Now we talked about the KDK in the beginning and you can see that it already found it because that was part of that initial installation with the percentage at the bottom. So it's automatically going to be able to skip to the next step. Now it's rebuilding the kernel cache. We'll give it a second or two here and then we're ready to reboot. We'll click on reboot and then restart and it will automatically select Macintosh hard drive from the USB and now it's booting. All right, we're at the login window and you notice something right away. We've got a transparent password window and that's our sign to show. And you'll notice that the menu bar up here is a little bit different. We've got our power button for restart and all those things up here for start down and sleep. And our password is now in a transparent menu so we can log in. We'll type in our password. 
and now we are on the desktop. If you get this message that's something Apple's working on right now with deprecated APIs, we'll just click OK on that. And here's the pop-up. Now the automatic patcher is now working properly. And you can see that Open Core Legacy Patcher has detected that you are booting from a USB or external drive because we are booting off that initial installer USB. And what we would like to do is install Open Core Bootloader to our internal hard drive so we can remove the USB. So we're going to click on OK. And we're going to click on install the disk. Okay, now all we need to do is click on, we had it on our USB before, now we are going to install it on our internal hard drive SSD. We'll click on that, and our EFI, and then our password. And now we are done. We can eject this drive now. So we're gonna eject the installer, and then we can remove from the drive. And now we are ready to click on reboot. And then restart. We're going to hold down the option key because now we have to reselect the main boot disk. We're going to click on restart. Now we're going to hold down the option key right now. And I'm holding down option key. And now there we go. Now keep in mind, it says, like I mentioned before, it says Windows, but it'll say EFI boot here. We want to move it over to boot EFI. And remember, it only says Windows because I have Bootcamp installer here, but this is still the boot EFI Open Core Legacy Patcher bootloader. Now hit enter or, or click it with your mouse key. And now we want to be able to click on Macintosh hard drive to boot up Sonoma. We can hit enter now. And now it's going to boot up and we now do not have to use the USB. And it's going to automatically boot to Open Core Legacy Patcher and Mac OS Sonoma every time automatically on its own. We got a Wi-Fi working and everything is working great. And now we are good to go with Open Core Legacy Patcher and our Mac OS Sonoma beta. I wouldn't even be here going through this walkthrough if it was not for the Open Core Legacy Patcher developers. All the work that they put in on their own free time, this is a passion project for this open source patcher. This is a love for keeping old Macs alive with the latest operating systems so that they don't end up in the trash or in the recycler. Keeping something like this going is a very difficult situation because of all of of the different Macs that are needed to be able to test against for all the different configurations, Wi-Fi cards, CPUs, graphics cards. And this Open Collective is a donation site where you can put in a monthly or a one-time donation to be able to help support the patch to get the hardware they need to continually test against the new versions of Mac OS. And you can see the team here. We've got Nathan Taylor, we've got A. Santin Barimi, Mikola, Dina Kay, Eduardo Kovas, and Flaggers are core contributors to the patcher that all work is almost like a board of directors over this donation site. If you want to be able to give back to the Open Core Developer Patcher team, this is a way to do it and it would be a wonderful gesture. If you have any questions about this video, feel free to put them into the comments and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.